Hello and welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight. I am your host, your role model, Rick Lieb. And with me today, I have the RCW World Tag Team Champions the Hawaiian Lions. Now, before I get to you guys, I want to apologize for not being on the air last week. RCW gives me a call. They said, it's beautiful outside. Would you like to take the week off? And I said, yes, of course I would. Why wouldn't I? I would have liked to take this week off because of due company. But I'm here anyway, and I'm a professional, so I'm going to interview these guys right away. Lionheart, good to see you. Sir. Draven. And anyway, so we... <laughs> I kid, I kid. Look, all right. Oh my gosh, got any hand sanitizer? Really? I'm getting sweaty. Shake his hand. Shake his hand. I shook his hand. Yeah, well, feel that? With that one. Don't worry you feel about sweaty that. that is? Don't worry about me. I um, mean, I'm not worried about you. Your hand was dry. Are you nervous? No. You're nervous in my company? Absolutely not. Yeah, well, you probably don't have any reason to be because you got him right there next to you. I ain't doing anything. But, uh, yeah, so we have a lot to talk about. Uh, Commissioner made a huge announcement. We're going to talk about that. Oh, um, we got uh, these guys over here in studio. We'll find out what their next moves are going to be. And then, of course, at the end of the show, we're going to take your questions. So without further ado, since we don't have anything to drink and really anything in common to talk about, we're going to go ahead and take our first commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to interview these guys. Time of civil war, brother against brother, friend against friend, battles for honor and honor lost. But all that happened over 150 years ago, right? Not exactly. The place, the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio, the event, Rubber City Wrestling presents Civil War 2024 on Saturday, May 25th. Come see your favorite RCW superstars clash in Civil War 2024. It will be a night of action and mayhem. $15 general admission, $20 front row. It's all happening at the Akron Turner Club, 547 Monroe Falls Road, Talmadge, Ohio, 44278. Doors open at 5 p.m. Bell time is at 6 p.m. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. My guests today need no introduction. Well, at least one half of them don't. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. First of all, we have a well-decorated de well wrestler. He's been in the business for quite some time. And in doing so, he's held world championships in other companies. And obviously here, he's holding the world championship in the tag team division. None other than Lionheart. Lionheart, good to see you. Right. And his his tag team partner, no, or as I like Rick. to say, the flat tire, uh, <laughs> is, wow. of course, Draven Post, who, in his own right, has actually held championships in other companies, I, and was a former RCW All-American City champion before his own tag team partner took it from him. Well, not tag team partner, but... No. I, it, it's a complicated story we're that like, doesn't make sense to me. We're like the free birds. Free bird rule and beating each other up and taking belts. Yeah. It's nothing <clears throat> It's nothing you wouldn't have done he's with our, your teammates, Rick. He's our Terry Gordy. My teammates win it, I'm going to let them keep it. Me and actually, that's crap. Me and Animal did take on each other in, when we were in FCWF, and it was for the um, World Championship. And that one I don't really like to talk about. He beat the crap out of me. Um, I beat him the other one, though. So we're one and one, and we're like, we don't need a tiebreaker. We'll That's see. the way we look at it. We'll see. 
I know, so one day we're going to have to do it. It's like it's brains over brawn, but the damn problem is brawn has brains too, and that's why he's our manager now. He's retired. We're done. We're one and one. You know, I can he, get him out of retirement for that match. I would actually do it. He does throw in a shot, want. though. I can vouch for that. Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? He, he, can, he doesn't. Whoa, animal. Animal's just the manager. He stays out of everything. Thank you, Just my, so everybody understands that. I think that. my jaw would beg to differ on that one. <laughs> I had a headache for a while. Yeah, anyway. I learned not to jump anyway, with somebody bigger than While me. we're at commercial break, this came. Yeah, someone knocked on the door and. You see this here. If you want to open it, we'll open it in a minute. I'd like to go ahead and do some questions just in case there's a bomb in there and I want to get to let's it. let's hope yeah. not. Let's yeah. <laughs> it's dirty looking. I don't know what that is, but writing makes mine look good. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna go over there. Anyway, so before we get before we get to that, we're gonna go ahead and uh go over what the commissioner had said last Thursday on RCW Global. Now the commissioner came out there. And for the record, I did complain. But I wasn't the only one that complained. So I don't want this all coming back on me. But I'm very proud to, to announce that the commissioner has said that the Misfits and Rory Angel are not allowed to be at ringside for this match with me versus J.L. Watson. Because of the fact that they have been out there for matches that had nothing to do with Misfits at all. And if any of you guys do come out there and do interfere, even if you're just out there at ringside, you will be sus suspended indefinitely. I love the last part, the indefinitely part. I'm sure you do. Because I'm that sure means it could be forever. Do. If he never feels like you're 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 going to finally clean up your acts of being thunder stealers, thunder stealers, and going out there and 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 being dirty wrestlers who have to interfere in good people's matches, we did not interfere in that match. We did whoa! Not. I recall no. getting punched by every one of you after having my shoulder dislocated. To JL, be to be fair, I was the one that pulled <laughs> JL off of you. Because I because want... you wanted a piece. Also, I was already on the ground. You pulled him off and like I want one, and then I'm like, no. no real fair. Also, to be fair, we watched the match. We were there. We watched it when it replayed. We did not get involved until you attacked one of ours and Rosie. And I didn't attack Animal. anybody. He said something to me, which will not be dis which will not be said over the air, and it was offensive enough for me to slap him in his face. And then Rosie. And, and then Animal it should have been over. And it that's when we it got It should have been over after that. And then all of a sudden, I got jumped. Four against one. I have a against dislocated one. shoulder. Animal and it was four one. against one. Animal is a manager. He wasn't doing anything but standing back. It was four against one. And don't get us started on Rossiter. We know what kind of a... Rossiter... can swing a mean chair. Ross, yeah, and, and one of you guys did something and ended up tearing his hamstring. Mm-hmm. He will be... There I will be a lawsuit. Said. There a will lawsuit. be a lawsuit. Yeah. If he can't wrestle this next show, which it does look like he's not going to be able to, he's suing. Did you touch him? I think I had butted him in his chest. And I think that's, that's what did it, right there. So, oh, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the chest bone's connected yeah. to the hamstring. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, and, and yeah, like, you gotta listen so this to bone is connected to the wristwatch, right? Right. Oh, I, I, Dr. I, Nick. I, I, don't, I don't think I, I, think I missed that uh, anatomy class. Yeah. Talking I don't about, know. You talking learned, about Rolexes? I learned not to go after the Fell biggest guy truck. in the yard, though. Shut up, Ken. <laughs> You're well, get well soon, Ken. So get yes, back. please. Love you, man. Anyway, <clears throat> so, uh, no, yeah, and anyway. Yeah, we know about we know about the ban, and Rory's made her feelings on that known quite well. It's actually caused a bit of tension between us and other family members. Good, 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 good. Yeah, someone's still a very strong supporter of her Uncle Rick and her Uncle Rosie and her Uncle Harley and Uncle Animal. You know, speaking of that, man, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil anything. Hmm. But uh boy do I have a surprise for everybody. I'm sure you do. On the day of the show. I don't I don't it's need any, I don't surprise. need any more surprises for that weekend, all right? I've already had people coming up to me, he's like, Yes, all right. I don't like certain a big deal made out of uh that time of year. It's it's a thing. It's oh, your yeah. birthday. Cause you're getting old. Mine was just. At the, turn around. Let me see the grays. Look at them. They're right here. They're, they're, they're right here. here. No, they're on hey. the sides too. 
Yes, I know. My birthday's the <coughs> day after. I up. wasn't going to say anything. I don't like having a big 50, deal made right? out of it. Big 5 0? 60? I just had. 50? 100? Keep going. I just had a birthday not that long ago. How old are you going to be? 43. 43? That ain't bad. I remember 43. It's a good year. I just turned 24, like, what, a week, two weeks ago? I was 43 nine years ago. My wife is 43. You'll be all right. Uh, you know, there's this thing, it's called a gym. You stay in the gym. No, I'm not being facetious. I'm just call, saying it facetious. If you stay in the gym and you work really hard in that gym and you embrace the suck and you realize that pain is just weakness leaving your body, by the time you get to 50, you'll be in the best shape of your life. Hmm. We don't agree on much, but he's not wrong. No, there's, not, there's a lot to be said for staying in shape. I get that. Okay, it, it, listen, the only thing that can beat old age is to work out. The only thing that causes you to get old is when you stop working out. Remember that. Mm -hmm. You see a bunch of old men jacked. <clears throat> and then you see a bunch of young men out of shape. <laughs> you ever see that? Who was that? I forget what his name is, but he went, but he's like 70 years old and he's still a professional wrestler. So you, I can tell you're in the gym. I'm just saying, you know, stay there. <clears throat> you don't have a gym and you don't have enough money to do a membership pass. By all means, there's this weird thing that you had in school called gym class that taught you how to do push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, you know, squats. I mean, like anything, wall sits. Any of these things he, he will help said, you. Uh, planking is another one. Planking? I mean, come on. Do you ever? I, I got the DDP yoga. At yeah, home. DDP I that. yoga That's, is awesome. I'll, I'll swear by that. That's yeah. a great one. You ever try I have it? Too. There's a lower ab thing where you take your uh, hands and you stick them under you and you stretch your legs out for you. Like it's, I don't know what it's called. I know you don't because you've leg never lift. been in a gym. Le there's some sort of leg raises. Hmm. And then I do flutter kicks to <coughs> Come on, let's quit lying to people. Quit lying to people. You've never been in a gym in your life. No, that's not true. You've been in a wrestling school. Back when you were my protege, nope. I was you, you I was I was training you in the wrestling school. And actually you were in the gym back then. And then all of a sudden started listening to the fans. You let them get into your stupid little head. And then you disappeared. You kicked me out. Yeah, because you started listening to the fans. Th this whole conversation could be you and I holding the tag back. <laughs> no. I, it, it could be. <clears throat> but I'm not like this, him. I don't feel fun. like carrying somebody to become oh, tag team God. champion. I would rather have somebody that was doing their share as well. It's fine. <laughs> We're the I champions feel, right I feel now. like, listen, we are. Uh, let me ask you a question. And mm -hmm. we both I pen. want your honest opinion on this. Do you really believe that you have more of a chance of staying tag team champion for a long period of time with Draven Post there? Or do you think that if you were to team up with someone like, say, myself, someone like John Rossiter, someone like Harley T. Morris, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you were to tag up with one of these guys, <clears throat> I'm asking you, who's going to be for the tag belts if you did that? Well, so far, no one's beaten us for the tag belt. Well, I get that. Who have you defended it against? Another, a, a, a guy and a student, basically. We got, I, I mean, I that don't was know basically, who this came from. Well, we're going to look at that in a minute, because uh, <clears throat> it was basically, you, you got filth falling off of you. Your I don't beard, have curly your beard, hair. Your beard. It's not that long. It is that long. Anyway, all right. Moving on. Yeah. No. What I'll was I saying? Though? I'll say this about the way you have surrounded yourself with top tier talent. I'm not going to deny that. Harley T. Morris is damn good in the ring. Oh, Rossiter yeah. has got a reputation. A hit that'll let me let me let me, let me make this clear to everybody. <clears throat> Harley T. Morris will be the next RCW World Light Heavyweight Champion. John Rossiter. Will be now. Nah, I don't know, man. We're not really going after George Davis right now. Maybe me and John Rossiter team up and take your belts from you. 
Who knows? We'll, I always we'll, we will await that challenge. We'll happily I, await that challenge. Yeah. I look forward to it. We'll it will be a fun match. We'll gladly pin you again, right? We would. Will and by will will mean you or or you can we do it while I'm over you. here like this, laying sideways. Oh, does your shoulder yes, still yes, hurt? Yes, shoulder yes. still. It was up though, and if anybody watches the film, you'll well, see it. Wait, I'm, 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 my daughter said it herself. Let me ask you, you a know question. What? I know what the fans know. Me, yeah, exactly, and she was right. Let me ask you a question, and I want you to swear to God on the Bible that. You, my shoulder was down. It was. Yeah. I, I watched hear, it. I didn't hear you saying anything else. I watched it. I swear it was. Where's, where's your Bible? No, I don't want you to do that because then I, I have think to, I got one in my. Then I have to hurt you for lying on God. All right. I will. I will swear. I always thought Harley T. Morris. Now, did he count me down? Yes. So technically, you get the win. Yes. And Lionheart pinned you. You know, in all summer. reality, he did. I remember that when we were at Melanie Lake. I remember a one, two, three. I only remember beating Danny English. Was it a Mahi Straw off cradle? That no. Backslide. backslide. I'm pretty backslide. sure I only wrestled Danny English at Melanie Lake. I don't recall any other matches. See, that's what I have to look forward to when I get older. Selective memory. Yeah. <laughs> I always looked at that it was a like good one. That was a good one. I always thought John Rossiter and Harley T. Morris would be the tag team because <laughs> they both worked the leg. If they're... They're the way, you know, they got the leg breakers and then you got the role model and then you got the old manager who can still... Do you believe I don't know how to work but, a leg? But, uh... Um, you and ask, I... ask... Ask... Um, Cody Reaper if I know how to work a leg. I know you know. Because you had to cheap shot me to do it. You remember right. that when I'm I busted the crutch you. over my leg? No, I don't remember that one either. Do you remember Selective that? Selective memory. memory. Okay, do you remember it for real? I remember a lot of matches. I remember I a knew lot he of... didn't. <laughs> hey, That's all you had to say. Anybody who steps up to the wine lines, though, will turn them away, just like we did Brandon and Kevin. No, no, no. You faced them. You didn't turn them away. We turned them away when we beat them. Do you know what turn them away means? It means you turn down the match. Selective memory. No, not selective no, memory. I'm actually he's, right. He's, he's not wrong there. <laughs> hey, he just said you guys would turn away. This is what I'm trying to talk about. No, you. <laughs> what you mean is that we will turn back a challenge. That even... I don't know. No, turning away means that you're turning down the challenge. Turning back means you accepted the challenge and won. Sorry. he's He's not wrong there. Look, I don't have to be great. With <laughs> you might words. want to become the spokesperson. While no, you're our our spokesperson is off handling misfit business. I get that. She I'm saying I, here. Love you, baby. You, if you missed it, I said you might want to be the spokesperson while you're here. Well, it's just you two. I get it. Rory Angel is the sports or is the spokesperson for for you guys when you're not or when she's not here. You know, um, or as I like to call it, the thug Miguel Gorilla. Because she did punch my friend Tony T in the face. I still don't. I, I will not forgive. I don't care. Where's he been? What do you mean, where's he been? Tony T? Yeah. He doesn't want to do anything. With, he, he gave up his rights. To, he sold me RCW. Basically. Me and Andrew. And then <clears throat> he, uh, with that, he, he basically went to, um, live a happy life where he's not going to be assaulted by people that he's paying money to. So what you're saying is he's afraid of us. Cool. No, he's no, afraid of her. No, he's not afraid of her, but he does not feel like he should be assaulted by someone that he was giving money to. She assaulted him. Did she or did she not? She defended herself because she knows how. Uh, what did he do to her? He didn't hit her. Yeah, he put his hands on her. She no means out. no, Bill Cosby. No. Come on. First of all, no doesn't mean no to Bill Cosby. No means it's time for me to go get a pill and put it in her drink. Wow. Am I lying? <laughs> we're definitely not going there. Keep it Am clean. I lying? Well, we're going to be taking off. I'm not lying. <sighs> cancel us, please. Do not cancel us. I want to be canceled. I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm, I'm stop staring doing the show. at that, that bag. It's... All right, go ahead and open the bag. I'm going to ask you guys if, if, who, was next, who was next in line for you guys. Um... And maybe this will give us an answer because apparently somebody has a very filthy, smelly gift for you. May 25th. Uh-oh. You know what day that is, don't you? Yeah. 
Well, that's why I kind what of... What is it? Your... What's in the bag? Nope. nope What's nope, in the nope. bag? <laughs> Was it There's about? only one person that would do we... that. No, we uh, got Brandon Miller's respect. That's a little. He's a little uh, cleaner than that. I know who it is. What was it? Ugh, less said the better. It's wasn't pleasant. We'll say that. What's in the bag? No, it wasn't anybody we know. It's not, okay. It's not I was. To play. Uh, what's in the box? No. <laughs> None no. of that kind of stuff. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It smelled. Okay. I, th I think. I think. I, I, think, walking the away? Mm. I think the message is received. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's. that's was it a dead deep. animal? Something it's, I don't know it might have been at one point. We got anything over here that'll kind of help him with that. Yeah, looks like there was a finger in there. Yeah, get rid of oh, it's raining. That's bad. That's 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 bad. Yeah, well, that stuff was good. <sighs> better still, than better than you can still smell the other stuff, but I can smell that no. more, so that's even better. Okay, okay, good news it wasn't a bomb, good news it wasn't anybody we know, and I think we just got our challenge for the 25th. Well, is it somebody can that I, I say this before? Can Go I ahead. tell you guys? Go ahead. The bag was sent by Joe Zuck yep. on behalf of him and the butcher. <sighs> well, message received, gentlemen. I uh, knew about it beforehand, that's why I didn't want to open it, because I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> And I knew when you opened it, it was going to smell bad when you opened the plastic because you got to know who the guys are that's sending the message. Yeah. You have a butcher and you right. have a... Whatever. Baker? I mean, no. I, I think it could be. Right? Well, he's a baker. I've seen him out there. He's worked with everything, bro. And but, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and... And, and um, yeah. So they're sending a message to you. Uh, message received. All right, and uh, facing Ed Gein and John Wayne Gacy. Looks so easy. They want to know. The question that I was told to ask is: Do you guys have the balls to get in the ring with these two? Well, I mean, we've both wrestled them before. Oh yeah, it's singles. Like, they're, they're, first of all, there were easier ways to get our attention than that. that. Yeah, in a weird way, I, I think all you had to do is ask. Right, because we are not turning down a challenge, not from you, not from anybody. So, yeah, if that's your way of saying you'll see us on the 25th, we, we will accept. see you on the 25th. Okay. We'll be there. We'll now be there. we have that match signed. We'll bring these. <coughs> now that we have that Don't match, bring that. at least verbally signed, we know what's going on. I'm not sure what they want to sign Let me with. get to my last question before we go to our next break. And my last question is definitely this. And this is the one that I've been wanting to ask first, but I figured I'd save it for last because you always save the best for last. Are you guys today on the air? I'm turning around for this. Are you guys ready to thank me for winning those belts for you guys, basically? So are we going to thank you for basically denying the Top Guns a fair title defense? Denying us a fair victory against them because no, let's no, be no, honest, still fair. You beat you beat Smiley, but we also did not ask for, want, or need anybody's help in that match. But you also—that's called the gift of giving. You don't have to ask me. Sometimes I will just give you a gift, and that was a gift I gave you. It was a gift I gave me too, because it ended up letting me, me retire that little midget, diehard the hunter. I, Finally, everybody doesn't have to look at him or listen to him. This is how it, it was a win win for all three of us. This is how I look at it. Us, we're in us. Yeah. Us, us. We're in us. This us, is news to me. What? This is how I look what? at this. You got a hard on for making Die Hard the Hunter's life a living hell. Yes, I did. You succeeded in it. Yes, I did. Did it lead to us winning? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can yeah. we all do this? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Come on. Like nah, he said, happening. we don't need help to win these. The you guys are about to lose until I interfered. And you know it. I don't that so. I know it. You know it. The world knows it. Shout out to Kathy. As, as a wise man. Shout out to it. Kathy. I didn't hear no bell. You're right. You didn't hear no bell because I stopped that bell from happening. <clears throat> You're welcome. 
I know you guys mean it deep down in your heart. You just aren't allowed to say because Rory Angel probably put a, a block on that and you don't want to have to deal with her later. But I get it. I could see you guys gave me that wink. You're welcome. If Die Hard anyway, ever unretires, I want to give them I, a fair shot. Can't unretire what you, when you, once you retire. It's not fair. We're going to go ahead, take a commercial break. But when we come back, we're going to take your questions. A time of civil war. Brother against brother. Friend against friend. Battles for honor and honor lost. But all that happened over 150 years ago, right? Not exactly. The place, the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. The event, Rubber City Wrestling presents Civil War 2024. On Saturday, May 25th, come see your favorite RCW superstars clash in Civil War 2024. It will be a night of action and mayhem. $15 general admission, $20 front row. It's all happening at the Akron Turner Club, 547 Monroe Falls Road, Talmadge, Ohio, 44278. Doors open at 5 p.m. Bell time is at 6 p.m. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. We apologize for that very long segment. Um, I didn't realize it went that long. It seemed like it was quick. You know, when when good friends are talking amongst each other, things go quick. You know, like when the guy that helped them win the tag team belt. I don't remember us ever being members of the way. <clears throat> you didn't have to be. I just helped. I, I You know, I pulled a Yui. You guys oh, you're, picked your nose. You're, and never, you're well, joining the Misfits? I, no, hell no. Absolutely not. I don't. I don't think you. I don't think we out. want to. But I don't want a manager like Rory Angel. Angel that has to interfere in everybody's match. Misfits got talent. No. Hmm. Yeah. And, and and her name is Rory Angel, and she makes her. Yeah. But she I did. I did help you guys win the belt. So I. I guess I'm a tainted victim. I guess we I was can't an, deny that he I, I guess I was an honorary misfit that you day. Gotta be happy about. You ain't got to be happy about it. You won the tag team. We're track. happy about that. Yes. Well, fans, it's that time of the show again. You've got questions. We, we got, got answers. answers. Actually, I was impressed with that. I hate to say it. Damn it. I wanted to at least say that he screwed it up. Now, if you'd like to answer our questions on the air, or have us answer your questions, I don't think you can do it, uh, feel free to write us at x.com forward slash wrestling rubber. Hate that name. I, I right. hate that name too. Now, now, now can I hate you the they, questions. Yeah, I got the questions here. I hate that they changed it from Twitter to X as well. That's stupid. Ken gave him the questions. Shout out to Ken. Ken, hurry the hell up and get back, please. I went and visited him a couple <coughs> times. He looks like he's so doing I. better. Looked good when I went and saw him. Always in in good spirits. Oh yeah. He told me he went to a baseball game. He did not go to a baseball game. Anyway, it's on the brain. We won't go there. <laughs> anyway. All right, go ahead. All right. Question number one. This is from Jeff Farmer in Perrysburg, Ohio. Hey, role model, just wondering, just wondering if RCW will ever have a Hall of Fame, and if so, who are your top three picks? Yep. Who are all of our top three picks? That's a good question. Uh, all right, let's see. I got to be honest about this, or I got to be, you know, I won't be, I won't, uh, top three picks would have to be, I, I would say the first world champion, so obviously I'm going to pick myself. Uh, not because I'm picking myself, but I believe that the first world champion should be there, and I'm also the only two-time champion. Um, number two pick would be, you know, a, a senior guy and the first manager to ever have everybody on his roster win championship belts, and that would be Ken Sermonera. And, um... The third person, 
it would probably have to be between the rogue or die hard i can't really decide and i don't i hate saying that about either of them or no animal animal too animal i put you know he retired too. you know now i'm not retired and ken's not retired but it, for for obvious reasons i would put us in there and but and that's my legit who I would do. I'm not trying to be funny about it. She noticed I put names in there I clearly do not like. He's not wrong there. Fair. What do you guys take on mine? What do you I think? Mean, that's, that's would you change one. anything? No. Because there's a lot of people that like would deserve to go in there. Like and Fallen Brothers, like Yeti. Mm. That's oh yeah, fun. Yeti would be another good one. I, I like. I that agree. One. I agree with. I'm surprised you said Yeti after the booty gave your Oof. face. I agree with Ken. Ken, yeah. for, Ken for sure. I hate to agree with him, but he does have a good contendership for the Hall of Fame, too, if we ever do it. And I hate to admit that, but no, I'm not... And to be, to be perfectly honest, uh, his first two picks would probably have been my first two picks. And it's not... You know, we're, we're, all, we're civil and cordial here, for the most part. Um, How many... Picks are we doing a piece? Three, top three, four, top three, oh. top three. That's hard to narrow that down. No, but you definitely make a strong case for yeah. your induction. Uh, Ken, obviously, too. Um, another one who I would pick, I know he's a long way from being retired, but just for um, his abilities as a wrestler and just everything he's done for literally every promotion that he's gone to, literally everywhere, would be uh, Marcus Knight. Oh, cool. yeah. Good one. Crowley's... Probably up there, too, I would say. Still too young, I think. Again, he's far from retired as well, but he's done a lot for RCW. What do you mean Marcus is far from retired? That dude is old as sin, man. Marcus Knight oh. is one of the best that I, I know personally. I, I, you, know another one covers a lot of ground. you know another one that makes a very strong case? I believe he got CTE after wrestling my match against him. Ma Max. Max Cortez. Max Cortez, yep. There's another, another good one. one. Damn, I would have said that. I Kenny Hendricks, that. too. His Kenny first, Hendricks first, is not retired, but yeah, he's First a good super one. heavyweight champion. No, but there's a, That's a, yeah. And Rogue is another good one, Rogue's too. Rogue's a good one. This is hard yeah. to narrow it down it's like to that, three. That, it's like that right there would make it very strong for the first class. You can't go wrong. Of RCW Hall of Fame. You can't go wrong with... Now, now if the question were to be redone, and they said... Out of the younger wrestlers, mm. yourself not included, which I couldn't include myself anyway, which three wrestlers a good for do you think five, would right? be, thank you, Future which Hall of three Famers wrestlers say. do you think would be Hall of Fame, can or, or have the ability to become Hall of Fame candidates if they keep it up the way they're doing? Um... The producer said Carnage. There's no way I'd put Garbage. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there you go. Carnage. Yeah. Akuma. Akuma. Akuma was another Akuma's good gone, one. But he, he's only wrestled a couple of times. Akuma's actually, we've been talking about it. He, he's been talking to me about coming back. Um. So, younger wrestlers. Not, younger wrestlers. Not including myself. <clears throat> not allowed to include yourself. Okay. It's okay. I wouldn't include myself anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just what I do. Uh, when you say younger, how, how old are we talking? Like, just... In wrestling, younger is under forty. Under forty. So I mean you don't Right. We're we're out right. from the get go. Okay, well under forty. That's where I would put the Crowleys in. Yeah, <laughs> Cra okay. Crowley would definitely be Then my picks for okay. Top three for under forty, Harley T. Morris. Yes. Because he's a definitely really good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Crowley, because he's mm -hmm. definitely also really good. John you Rossiter. have to give him that. How old's John Rossiter? Younger than us. That I much I do don't know. Don't know how old he is. A oh, Rossiter's got a long way ahead of him. Um, I believe that we've got a Hall of Fame cast on the, in the way right now. Brennan's uh, pretty good. Brennan, Brennan but yeah. I, I don't. Um, and Brandon. Brandon Miller's Miller, yeah. pretty good. You got. Um, I'll, get, I, I'll I, give Spike his props. <laughs> yeah, Spike. Spike. He's done. He's done a lot overall. That's what, that was going to be on career. mine. Spike was going to be on mine. It's a tough one. You got so many good kids also coming up through the school too. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. You've been through the you've been through the school in the last year. And yeah, we've got we've got a lot of. Who are your top three though? Top three future Hall of Famers. I definitely got to go with Harley. Harley, really? Because he's 
I mean, you've seen him. He's got he's got the tools. I appreciate you guys saying. Oh, that. you know who another one would have been for over forty? Frankie Andalini. Frankie, oh, yeah. Frankie, Frankie. He cheated to beat me, but I Sonny him back. Sonny was pretty good too. Mm -hmm. I, but our top top three future Hall of Famers. Future Hall of Famers. Crowley. Yeah, Harley Spike. And Crowley. <coughs> Spike. Spike. Yeah, Spike. I'll go with that. Not and, to tend. And again, you know, I'm not, this is not to pat anyone on the way on the back or anything like that one, but Rossiter. Yeah. It depends. Is he? I, I, we're not sure if he's under 40 because he, he, he definitely wrestles like a grown man. So. He's, there's just, and there's a difference. There's, there's talent. There's. I believe that in wrestling. George you peak, Davis is pretty good too. You peak in your 40s. I believe in wrestling you peak in your 40s because it's it's a mental game more than it's a physical game. I could see Aaron Black in the future <coughs> as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. All right. So those are our picks for that, that one. That's a good question, by it the is, way. It, it made us really talk. Yeah. All right, next All one. right. Next question. Hey, guys. It's been a minute since we've seen Rory Angel assert her authority as a manager. Do you think anyone is going to try to challenge her again? It'd be cool to see her put five across somebody's lip. That's from Brian K. in Brunswick, Ohio. Well, Brian K., as you see, last time she put five hands, five fingers on someone's lip, she was suspended and had to go to anger management classes. So, which she passed, by the way. She got through it, yep. got a certificate somehow. Um, so, my answer to that is, if she knows what's good for her, she'll probably mind her own business. <sighs> stay, stay classy. Oh, she's very classy. Oh, she, she she's very thuggish, and you know it. Don't have she like, will put her hands listen, on anybody who doesn't either have it coming. I'm not or... gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat someone because you're married to her. I'm gonna say it straight like it is. You obviously like girls that are aggressive, and she's aggressive. She's as classy as Scotty Stevens. Oh, she's that's not, classy. Oh, he would that be another, he'd be another good pick for the Hall of Fame. No, too. the classless man in the building. You're just mad because he probably would have pinned you too. What is wrong with you? Who pinned who last? Him. He pinned no. you. Uh, no, that's wrong. I wrestled you since that match. Yeah. And I pinned you. One, yeah, two, dirty. three. But whoa, 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 whoa. No, I did not. Why you got to make up stuff? Yeah. Let me guess. Your shoulder was up? I enjoyed kicking you in the face. But my I... shoulder was actually up. No, and my shoulder was actually that. up. Oh my gosh. I, I can't say anything. Last time he and I were in the ring together, I did get pinned. I'll admit that. Yeah, that's right. He pinned me. It came down to him and Watson in that elimination match. Oh, yeah. He pinned me one, two, three. I admit that. But you did get me in the freaking outside match. So I'll give you credit on that one. That's what I'm saying, man. You've got you've got you've got potential to be to get out of a group that you shouldn't be in and be with a group that Make you a star. See this? I'm going to shake some, And I actually will trust you enough to get, hand it to you. This is a Rolex watch. This is a real Rolex watch. Not a knockoff like Ken likes to talk about. It fell off the truck. Made in Bolivia. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't won Stop anything it. from... Stop that. It's Swiss made and you know it. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the continuous hand. Did you win that in the first grade picnic too? <clears throat> you felt the weight, right? Mm-hmm. Am I making this up? No, Do you like this kind of watch? Wouldn't it look nice to have a Rolex on that arm? Wouldn't it? See that vest you're wearing? Wouldn't it be nice to have a beautiful Armani suit to go with it? They'll make you a custom-made leather one. A leather <coughs> suit. That would be interesting. Wouldn't that be awesome? I, I actually kind of want one of those. I ain't going front. Oh, well, we're not inviting you. I'm just saying that. It, there's always this possibility. Now, I do realize you both rolled up in some nicer new cars. Apparently, the tag belts have been paying off. Yep. And I get that. But imagine champion money, and then there's a way money. Yeah, don't get me started on way money. Way Friggin money. My is, daughter's still walking around listen, uh, flashing her allowance. I give her money she because, she, listen, she said she doesn't get nice things from you guys. Did you get and your, so I feel like she deserves right nice there. things. Did so you I get your car from the I same sure she dealership it. that I did? <coughs> Ricky L. Yeah. He's a good dealer. Yeah. I think he's a drunk. Easy. Whoa, easy. He's here. 
Chrysler, Ford, and Toyota? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, listen. We're going to go ahead we got one and more uh, move here. on to the next question. What was that last question about, anyway? <laughs> selective memory. Very much so. I didn't know. Not even selective. I really forgot. What was it about? About anyone trying to uh, step up to Rory again. Oh, yeah, about Rory. Angry. Good luck. Yeah, uh, she'll be suspended again and then put in anger management. Rory Angel gets in trouble more than anybody. I've noticed she that. She defends herself when the yeah. situation calls for Well, why was she defending it? No, she, she just sent you thugs out there to fucking... Freaking, to freaking attack me. <laughs> I'm sorry, get a little bit mad when I talk mean. about this. Woo! Sorry. We're going to have to bleep that out. Uh, next question, please. We won't next question. Next time. question. This is from Billy Lehman in Akron, Ohio. Hey, role model, it's well documented that you bleach your hair. Would you ever consider growing it in your natural color so we can all see? Okay. He said this uh, two weeks ago. But we didn't read it on the air yet. Because of the fact that for Billy, who is a student with RCW School, one of my students, I will do it. So, I shave my head off. It grows back fast enough to do it. It is not bleached, and it is dark brown or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, you just don't grow hair right there. So, this is my normal hair color. Don't get used to it. And this is, don't get used to this haircut either. Although, my wife likes it. She keeps going like this. I've seen old Scrum pictures of you. Fill that, fill that. Yeah, I've been that one. I had that one when I was right. in the service. Feels good. And so, and she's like, I, I wish you would just keep them short like that, but there's, there's no way. I got more hair here I got, than you guys combined. I, got, I know, I, got, I had to cut <coughs> mine off too. He found out I cut mine. No, he, I I'm had not allowed to cut mine. Anyway. Lionheart, you know how long I've had my hair cut like right, this for sure. a few months. I've never seen it. Anyway, so there you have it. Like, there it is. My real hair color. And that one I'll do. Now, if it was uh, Kathy asking the question, I would have even styled it the way she wanted it. Just for her, but it, she did Of course, didn't. of course. She, uh, anyway. The, the, she does love her uncles in the way, despite all of our... Uh, uncles? She's the daughter I never had. I have five sons. I always wanted to spoil someone. You can't spoil your sons. Now I have someone to spoil. Yay. It's awesome. Anyway. I'm glad I don't have kids. <laughs> guys, I'd like to say it was a pleasure having you on, but it really wasn't. Um, you got to tell yourself, right? That's, that's it. You know, um, I'd like to wish you luck in the future, but I can't. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> um, I do wish you would have thanked me for the belts. I probably would have been a little bit uh, better. But I, I appreciate you both being cordial in this meeting. Because I do have to be a professional when I'm on this show for the most part. Hmm. And I try. And in case you didn't notice, I tried really hard on this one. And I think I did pretty good. No, we appreciate the effort. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, here um, we dropped the bomb one I will time. shake hands with. You, your hands are sweaty. I'll do this. Thank you for being on the show. For Draven Post. For uh, Lionheart, a.k.a. the Hawaiian Lions World Tag Team Champions in Rubber City Wrestling. I am your role model, Rick Lee, saying join us again next week for another edition of RCW Spotlight. Salute. Aloha.